everyone. In this video, let's take a look at question 49, group anagrams on LeetCode. This is part of our blind 75 list of questions, so let's begin. In this question, we are given an array of strings called stirs, and we want to group the anagrams together. You can return your answer in any order. An anagram is a word or phrase that is formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase, typically using all of the original letters exactly once. So we know what an anagram is. Basically, you just rearrange the letters. So for example, eat, A-T-E, um, E-T-A, you know, all, all of these are like anagrams. So you just rearrange the letters. So basically here, what we want to do is you want to group the anagrams together and then just return like the grouping together. So for example, here, it looks like bat alone is an anagram. Otherwise, we can see that nat and tan is an anagram because just rearrange these letters. And similarly, these three are also anagrams, right? So I, I think we, we know how to create, uh, we know how to determine if something is an anagram, right? We can just count the number of letters in the two words, maybe use something like a counter in Python, uh, just basically the frequencies, and we make sure that that's equal. Like if it's equal, then it's an anagram. Now, one thing here is that we want to group the anagrams together. So when we are going through the list of stirs here, we want to basically determine which anagrams are the same. So what's one way we could do that? Because I'm thinking that th this kind of re re requires like a hash map, right? Like a dictionary. So what we could do is we could have like some sort of key and then we could map it with words. We could map it to words that have the same anagram. So for example, that would be on itself, but then we could have key and that would map that. It would also map 10. And similarly, we'd have some sort of key here. It would map eight, it would map eat, it would have T. Well, you know, the question is, what's the key I can use that, is, that it's unique to these, that's unique to this, that's unique to this? What's a key I can use here, right? Because I, I need to determine whether or not I need to add a certain word to the hash map to a specific key. Well, I need to know like what the key is depending on the word. So what's something I could use? If you kind of just stare at this for, a few seconds, you, you can actually realize that the key that it turns out to be the best key is just sorting the word, right? For example, here, the key I can just use is bat, or not bat, abt, because that's a sorted version. Here, the key I can use is ant, right? Because nat and tan, they'll have the same sorting. It will just be ant. Here, the one I can use is aet, and this will map at. EAT and TEA. Basically, none of these other words will have the same sorting. It will have none, none of them will have the same key. Only the valid anagrams will have the same key because all I'm doing is I'm sorting this. And if two of these are same, then that would mean that they're together, they're anagrams. But obviously, that's not the case. They're different. So that's kind of like the key we want to use here. So let's take a look at how we can do this. So what we need is we need a hash map, first of all. So I'll just create my dictionary here. And then I want to go through my list of stirs, so something like this. And then I want to determine what my key is. So my key is basically just S, but it's sorted, right? And then, actually this I will create as a default dictionary, and I will just create it as a list. And now here, what I want to do is I want to do D at key dot append S. And that's all there is to it, because S will be an anagram of whatever is, like, whatever will be formed. So in the end, all I need to return is d.values. And then if I go and I run this, an unhashable type list. Okay, so we actually need to cast this to a tuple. We cannot just add a list. That's just a Python thing. And same thing here. Uh, this will have to be a tuple uh, key. And actually here, um, we actually don't need to keep it as a list. We can just keep it as a string, right? So we can just join it together. Okay, so I guess one thing I'm doing wrong here, this is just part of the way Python is working. Um, it looks like I'm returning like every single letter separately. So here, let me just... Um, I should just be able to do S actually. I think the error was coming from this key. It wasn't coming from this, yeah. The error was coming because of the key. 
okay perfect that's all there is to it really so again let's just quickly go through this like what's happening so the first thing that we do is we look at eat and then we see eat is sorted as a e t and then we map this basically like this and then we look at t t basically doesn't exist anywhere so we'll create it and t actually no t the the sorted version of t is exactly a e t and we see that it exists and so we will add it over here and then tan is completely a different thing so this will be a n t and then it'll go to tan etc so that's like the way this program and this problem works so what about the time and space well you can see that we're sorting so it's like n log n for sorting where n is like um the letter the maximum number of letters you can think of uh so basically like the time here would be n log n times m where i guess like m is number of number of words n is length of longest word right and hash map i guess like the space is pretty much just o of n right because um it's like the number or o of m where it's like the number of words number of words because that's the maximum we store in the in the hash map yeah so that's basically the problem